we are growing this culture of individualism too much. I value community, I think it's important. And I believe that we are all community. We may be separated by location and, you know, genetic differences here and there or whatever the case may be. But ultimately, at the end of the day, we are all one single people on a planet. And we just need to be mindful of how we show up and the roles we play in each other's lives. Uh, isn't that why we're friends? Uh, I think as human beings we were not built to be islands. I don't think the intention is for me as a person to entirely be everything. I think I think it's important for me to not be everything so that you can be something in my life and I can be something in your life and together somehow do something greater. Having a, a deep sense of communal bonding from my first trip to Japan, and I call that the Kizuna experience. And Kizuna means interconnectedness of human um, friendship. I saw how communities in Fukushima sort of recover from their trauma with the support of community that comes from different parts of Japan and from all parts of the world, just to be there to support them. if I'm thinking about community, is this concept of exponentially growing our ability to learn and be and do because we are in it together. I, mean, I don't think having a white community will compromise the deep, the depth and quality of that relationship. It makes me feel like I've and like I found a place where I can be happy and I can be myself and I can be loved and I can love. It's just, it's special. Like it, it allows you to connect on far more than just surface level things and it just builds this level of trust and communication. It's just, it's hard to beat. I, mean, it's, yeah, I don't think there's much better than community. I think community is valuable because it allows you to feel supported by people who love you and people you love, and I think it's one of the most important things in my life. When I think about community, I'm like really acutely aware of the fact that we don't exist in a vacuum, and that if we did, we'd like be dead other than the fact that there's no oxygen, but like we existed without anything else. It's not only a lack of resources, but it's I think we need to share our stories and hear stories and support each other. It's like trees. They all have roots that connect and like share resources. That's where the joy comes from. It's like sh sharing joy, it's multiplied. You can experience really, really pure joy within yourself. And when you share that with the community, whether it's through words or just like a hug or a smile or just a feeling, then it, it strengthens and it like becomes part of that root network. The greatest joy of community is that connection as we do life together, that linking up and, and sharing our, our abilities, our knowledge, our, our hearts and our love and caring for each other and being there for each other. Okay, a lot of things I would want to say, but... Um, life doesn't seem as scary. Um, yeah, I just want to be a good listener because I'm learning a lot from all of these generations of people. Yeah. Now that I'm talking with Noah right in front of me, I feel I'm just talking to my own brother. And this community has helped me um, overcome a lot of challenges and to rebound from any setback. So I think it's really important for me. And um, 
something, an experience that I would cherish for a lifetime. So wonderful to think about how unique a place this is and how it wasn't just, you know, I dip my toes and I truly feel like I got to experience this amazing place with these amazing people. And it just, it's been so like, I don't know if it's life changing because I don't know when you know something is life changing. It just happens, it just changes you. And I don't know if I can say that yet, but it feels like it should. <laughs> and it feels like the people that I've met and the stories I've heard and the things that I've seen will continue to stick with me and change how I want to show up in the world and how I want to talk with people and how I want to not change the world, but how I want to go about my life. I think when you want to create community, you need, you need a mixture of intentionality and spontaneity. Um, navigating between these two, serendipity sort of unfolds. I wonder what needs to be done differently in order for us to grow in our ability to be community. Before I came here, I had this built up idea of community. Not like that it was small or anything, like I had definitely been grateful and I like love everyone around me. But like, you know, I did definitely have like an edge, like this is where I draw my limit. Like I have these people, I have this place, I have my home and that's set and like that makes me happy and that's great. But now that I'm here, like, I realize that, like, it is more than where you lie, you know? Like, community is something that I've discovered is endless, which makes me kind of realize, you know, like, there really is no edge. And it is a value for me. I'm like, widen the circle, you know? Have as many people be part of your community as possible. And I just feel more real because of it. Um, because everyone seems to be also growing up with me. And I think we've just expanded so much energy on preventing evil. And I think we would probably do better if we spent much more of the energy on growing good, on creating good, and rather building ourselves up first as individuals, second in community, into the people that we want to have in the world around us. I think it is more of an individual work than an organizational work. I think it has to emanate from a person deciding, choosing to be a part of humanity, and also choosing to allow people to be a part of their lives. Anyway, see you later, alligator. <laughs>